When the world turns to dust, there will be you. found the essence of terror, and it is love, the love I can't allow myself. When I'm near you, it feels like I'm going to die. Not the death that puts you to sleep, but the death that wakes you up. But it scares me. Extinguished. Extinguished. And, and so, so I turn away. away. So if it can't be, let's think it. Let's think it so loudly, with such cohesion, that by power of our will alone, we can exist within it. Even if only for a moment, let's go there together. It was like he was glowing, multidimensional, like he wasn't real and yet he was more real than anything else. It was as if the earth and everyone on it was just a two-dimensional black and white page and he was this 3D technicolor being drifting momentarily into my world as we sat together on that lonely empty subway. He looked at me with sparkles in his eyes, eyes like hot opals on blue sky. That moment was a mountaintop, the moment you realize you've been colorblind, you've been sad and didn't know it, and now here you are. This is how big life is, and this is how good life feels. He was staring. I was staring. A never-ending deja vu set in, like a skipping record. All of our moments from all of our lives together, playing back and back and back and forth into infinity. Eyes meet mine and the world goes black. You'll be around forever. And screaming into the endless abyss, I say yes. That's good, I like it. But I don't remember any of this. Why don't I remember? Why don't I remember anything? And he says... You've been searching for a mystical experience. And that's hilarious. Just look around. I held his hand and I could feel the skyrocket deep inside me like a million firecrackers or a flood that snaps away whatever's been guarding your heart and it all rushes in at once. 
there's a person and their essence overtakes you. It's icy hot, intoxicated, and you lose your breath to the wind. The cold wind that pricks your face as you're turning somersaults in the sky. Your brain fills with helium and you go up, up, up like a shooting star that's searing white hot scribbles in the night. You're about to rip right through everything you've ever known because everything is absolutely perfect. Everything is revealed in that moment, that glance. You're buzzing in ecstasy, flabbergasted to be in each other's presence and then in a whoosh, they're gone. I'm back on the subway, trying hard not to stare at this beautiful stranger, wondering who and why and what and how am I possibly feeling so happy all of a sudden, and also so sad. There are other worlds, you know. Other worlds that orbit this one. Do you think in one of those worlds we're still together? Yeah. Everything you can imagine is real. And deep inside me there's a place that I can glimpse it all. It exists and I can tell you with conviction that the universe may be only a razor's edge away. We're drinking coffee on the porch of our apartment. We watch in comfortable silence as the rain drizzles down the steps. You're smiling. I'm smiling. We're happy. We have cheated death in this shining moment. We laugh in the face of entropy itself. So, even though I cannot touch you, there is always a place where we have never, will never, could not possibly ever part. that have become accustomed to the shadows. Maybe another time, another life, another body. Anywhere but here. Where are you gonna go? Away, to hide. I'm a coward. I'll always be sorry for that. I'll see you again. I promise you that. Something to tell you, and, and I've been meaning to for a long time. Well, please, by all means. I want to be everywhere, with everyone, loving everything at once, but it's always been you, Luca. You are the flavor that I've sought in all of my lifetimes, tasted only in my wildest dreams, and I just can't pretend anymore. He says. 
Why me? But the glimmer in his eyes sends a different message. Yes, yes darling, darling, you, you found, found all you've been seeking. seeking. How, How does, does it feel? feel? Strangely melancholy? I know. I saw it coming. To seek is to live, and to find is to die. We have so much more to do here. So once more, I am leaving. Goodbye forever, dear. Or at least for a time. He leans in, orb-like eyes of molten gold drilling deep into my skull. His hand in mine, and I am viscerally aware of the galaxies spinning around us. The earth on its axis, the passage of time. Waves of violent sensation rush down my spine like liquid honey, from the lightest touch of a feather to the crushing weight of centuries of striving. Exquisite pain, brain-numbing euphoria, an imperceptible breeze, and a ferocious tsunami of feeling. Remember me through all of this. Feel me in everything. You will not know my name or my face. Only my essence, and everything will remind you of it. In fleeting moments I will appear, yet I will always dissolve. This is how we create the universe, and this you must forget come morning, or there will be nothing at all, nothing of you and me. I'll see you when you wake, Zephyr. I will see you in death, but I hope that I will see you in life, too. Just once more, if only for a second. subway, trying hard not to stare at this beautiful stranger, wondering who and why and what and how am I possibly feeling so happy all of a sudden, and also so sad. Move forward in this new terrain Things will change and it's all out 